Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Your ongoing support is what helps us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and we wanna thank you for that, so thank you. Now, let's continue. Have you ever sent someone a text that you thought sounded fine, only for them to come back at you later and say that you were being rude to them? You tell them it was just a text, and they say, but you used a period, you're so abrupt. Your text may have come off as too ambiguous, or the impression you gave off made them perceive you differently. You write these things off as simple misunderstandings because you're not able to hear someone's tone or see their facial expressions while texting. But what if the way you text does reflect your personality? If you text often, you most likely have a texting style. So here are five texting styles that can tell you a lot about your personality. You might also have a blend of different ones that mean different things. Number one, emoji texts. Do you always use emojis when you're texting? You're most likely someone who is open to showing your emotions and is truthful. You want others to know how you're feeling when you're using a message. There's no ambiguity here. To make sure the other person doesn't get the wrong idea about your messages, you make sure to express the tone of messages with an emoji every now and then. According to a study from researchers Amanda N. Desselman, Vivian P. Ta, and Justin R. Garcia, emojis can be often used as effective signals in modern social communication. Their research suggests that emoji use may provide a reasonable proxy for expressing affection and may provide a useful aid in self-disclosure and building intimacy. As a result, using emojis with potential romantic partners may, in turn, lead to more face-to-face -face opportunities to assess compatibility and attraction. You are sweet, simple, and honest. If you feel happy or sad, you'll be sure to show it with a creative emoji. Number two, perfect grammar. Do you value punctuation and grammar in your writing? This love of grammar goes straight into your text as well as your emails. This seems like a great thing, doesn't it? But in texting, people seem to think otherwise. Several studies have found that simply placing a period at the end of sentences in texts can make you come across as untrustworthy to others. A 2016 study from Binghamton University found that texts that ended with a period were rated as less sincere than those that did not. A follow-up study conducted in 2018 from the same researchers showed that one-word texts with periods were understood as more negative than responses without. With this texting style, you are most likely thoughtful and analytical. You generally don't text often and prefer to have conversations face-to-face. -face. You are an excellent thinker and are rooted in logic more often than quick impulse emotions. This all can be the reason why you pay attention to the little details and always make sure to end your sentences with a period. Number three, you quickly send multiple short texts or textisms. Do you scatter your thoughts into several texts? Do you simply text a thought as soon as it comes to mind? If you're someone with this kind of texting personality, you're most likely an energetic person. You probably have many friends and are wildly popular, so texting is easy for you. Your messages might be quick with textisms and abbreviations. Textisms are a form of casual language used in texts identified by abbreviations, emoticons, letter or number homophones, and more. While others who don't share a similar texting personality as you might find this as illiterate or lazy texts, that is often not the case. According to a study from researchers at Utrecht University and the University of Amsterdam, only a positive effect on grammar performances and executive functions were found in texting from children. Not only may textisms improve children's abilities in written language, as has been attested in previous work, it may also enhance their grammar abilities in spoken language, as the present study has shown. This clearly refutes the suggestion that the use of textisms may lead to language deterioration. So go ahead and text away. If you're often the type to send quick, short texts with plenty of textisms, it may even improve your grammar. Number four, paragraph texts. Are your texts lengthy and thoughtful? You're the type of person who understands the importance of context. You're thoughtful and generally have a lot to say. Similar to someone who texts with perfect grammar, you are detail-oriented and enjoy deep conversations. According to the relationship coach, Nazanin Marspan, if you are someone who values details, you like things that are controlled and stable. You are detail-oriented when solving problems. You're also an excellent thinker who looks at all the facts in detail before making a decision. 
You don't happen to be so assertive in your text messages because you aren't that assertive with your emotions. Number five, one word responses. If you like to respond in one word texts, like a quick good or the notorious K, then you most likely have a more reserved personality and aren't as open with your true thoughts and feelings. You may be the busy type who doesn't have a lot of time to respond. You may be the more introverted as well and enjoy spending a good amount of time alone rather than socializing. Because you are not as open with your emotions in text, you may not care how lengthy your response is. This won't phase you though. You like to spend more time in the present, socializing face-to-face -face anyway. You are independent, sensitive, and often think logically about your situations, but be careful. If you're texting someone with a different text personality, they may view your short texts as negative. As research from Bingham University found that one word texts with periods were understood as more negative than responses without. Bonus point. Did you know that if you and your friends may have a different texting style, they may not understand exactly what tone you mean to apply to your text? A study where people were surveyed on their romantic partner found that if you have a similar texting style to your romantic interest, you'll have a more satisfactory relationship. It doesn't mean your partner needs to text you more. It simply means you need to have a similar texting personality. Leora Trubb, PhD, who presented the findings said that how couples texted was more important to the satisfaction of the relationship than how frequently they texted. Did you relate to any of these texting personalities? Which texting personality are you? Are you a blend of different texting styles? It's important to note that everyone has different ways of texting in different situations. Everyone texts their colleagues in a different style from their family, and their family differently than their friends. If you ever think someone may have left you an ambiguous or rude text, it's better to just ask them in person what they meant or what they were feeling. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.